What should you include on your network engineer resume? If you've ever wondered this, we're here to help you out. Keep watching to learn everything you need to know about crafting the perfect resume. This video is sponsored by ZipRecruiter. If you're looking for a job, ZipRecruiter can help. ZipRecruiter makes it easy to apply for jobs with a single click. You can also upload your resume to their resume database so that your resume is searchable for the thousands of recruiters and employers who use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter is also free for job seekers. Click the link in the description below to get started with ZipRecruiter today. What type of resume should you use? Typically, the chronological resume format that highlights your most recent work experience works best, but it can depend how much experience you have. What's unique about a network engineer resume? A network engineer resume is unique because it positions you to further your career in this area of information technology. While your document will share similarities with other resumes, the combination of your accomplishments, skills, and educational background will set it apart. Now let's dive in and take a look at everything you should include on your resume. Up first is your contact information. Under your name, list your professional looking email address and your cell phone number. That way, a prospective employer can easily contact you to schedule an interview. You should also consider adding a link to your LinkedIn profile if it's complete and well written. Next, list your work experience. Here, you should list your professional roles in reverse chronological order, beginning with your current or most recent job. That way, your latest successes are right at the top of this section. For each job, include your title, the company's name, and the dates you worked there. Then write several bullet points to share your accomplishments while in that position. Next, list your education. If you've been in the field for years, you can only list your degree, university, and graduation date. However, if you're a recent grad or changing professions, you should include a few more details to boost your candidacy here. You can also list in this section industry-related certifications. Next, add a summary or objective. Recruiters don't spend much time reviewing each resume, so you must capture their attention immediately to keep them reading. You can do that by crafting a concise and compelling resume objective or resume summary that highlights what makes you noteworthy. If you're new to the workforce or your field, you should opt for a resume objective that showcases your skills. But if you're an experienced professional, you should go with a resume summary that impresses the reader with your career achievements. What should you leave off your resume? You should leave off any personal information, irrelevant work experience, hobbies, interests, and references. It's always a great idea to list some skills on your resume. You don't want to list every possible skill that you could possibly have, but this list can spark your thinking as you figure out how to best market yourself via your resume. Now that your resume is ready to go, you can start applying for jobs. We recommend applying for jobs on ZipRecruiter. You can click the link in the description below to start applying with ZipRecruiter for free. They also have a resume database where you can upload your resume and apply for jobs with one click. To get started, click the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.